What's going on guys? This is uh, Matei with Tech Vitamins back. We got um, Cyanogemat 7.1.1 stable release for uh, HTC Thunderbolt finally out. So let me go quickly get that. Um, right now I'm on the uh, release cannon at 1.8 which only came out a few days ago actually. This was pretty fast but it's been a long time coming. Uh, big thanks to the Cyanogemat team. So let me quickly go to my um, ROM manager. The download ROM, and we see that under Cyanogen mod, we got the 7.1 stable for the um, MR 2.2 or 2.5 radio only, which I'm running the 2.5. Um, so let's go ahead and get this real quick, and we'll be right back with the full review. And yes, I'm going to have Google Apps and the G Talk video chat, even though it says experimental, it did work on my. 1.7 uh, kit release kind 1.7 it didn't really work on 1.8 so hopefully it'll work back on 7.1.1 stable let's do it all right let me go to uh, install this bad boy real quick I'm not going to back up the existing round because like I said the 1.8 gave me a little bit of problems um, I'm going to wipe the Dalvik cache and uh, that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to wipe all my other stuff because I'm going to keep it intact so let's go ahead and uh, update this. Yes, it's going to allow me to access it. It's going to reboot into the recovery. And uh, in a few minutes, we should be up and rolling to take a look at the stable release. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, we see we got the new unlock screen, which has pretty cool gestures uh, just to unlock the phone. But I've already noticed a bug uh, that I'll probably report in the comments that if I slide uh, the sound gesture to turn it to vibrate or to change the sound setting uh, you notice also turns on the uh, flashlight which should not happen and, but it, at least it turns it off when you slide it back and another thing is that when I um, hit on unlock which is a gesture that I said that's called U it goes uh, into the screen so that works now the one that's used for camera should work as well which is cool I like how they've done that and let's do one more I do have one just for flashlight so that's on should turn off there we go so that works so I guess the only bug that I've found is uh, the sound gesture but anyways let's go back into this um, I already did a review on the Cyanogenmod 7.1 release candidate uh, 1.4 about two months ago so check that out for the very detailed review but one thing that definitely has improved I just tested it is I'm back on uh, G chat and video you notice I have the little video icon right there which means that I can talk on video I've tested this on 1.6 it worked very well on the release candidate 1.6 so that's back on I'm glad to see that um, right now I'm on Wi-Fi let's see how fast it's gonna take it to get to catch signal um, either 3G or 4G uh, there we go 4G a little bit faster than last time it's still not green but um, it's getting there uh, also let me turn on my laptop and see if the tether functionality has been improved because of 1.8 um, it was malfunctioning. Um, I couldn't get a stable signal. So here we go. Tethering is on. Let me log into my laptop, which is uh, again right here. Turn off the camera to see how fast I can connect to it. It's connecting. And we do have a yellow exclamation point saying there's limited connectivity. Let's see if that fixes itself. Let me just go to Google. And actually it's not, and it may be due to the fact that if you notice on my phone, my 4G is not green yet. Um, the bars are not green. So it's not transmitting signal. That is one problem I've been having since about 1.5. So hopefully they can tighten that up a little bit. 
Um, but let me go ahead and turn this off. Let's look at the camera. I've already looked at it a little bit earlier with my C gesture in the home screen. But you see the uh, screen slightly different. Doesn't have that background um, or the you know template around it. Um, I can quickly change to a different megapixel, which I right now have it on six megapixels wide. If I go to eight, you get the black bar on the side. It's not a big deal. Um, I, I like to keep it on six megapixels wide so my pictures are not so huge when I take them um, pretty quick switch to video um, let's see front camera view there we go I can see myself in the camera that works as always let me see if I can comment on anything else that has noticeably changed um, Oh yeah, the set CPU application works very well now. You can also change or overclock your processor through the CyanogenMod settings, um, but usually I like to run. It runs very stable on uh, 1400, which is set on right now. And actually, surprisingly, I take it back right now. There we go. Let's allow that. I forgot I just reinstalled the system. So there we go. Can overclock it. Let's try it on 16. 1.6 gigahertz from this point on to see how it, beha how it behaves. So definitely much smoother. You can see it already. Um, another thing I just tried that's been improved since 1.6 is that I can use my um, headset without a problem uh, before I couldn't use it whenever I called people I had to take the uh, headset out of the uh, uh, headphone jack and then put it back in so they can hear me now I can make a call while the headset jack is in so that's good news and uh, some people reported problems with music um, with crackling noise and set or sound uh, during playback I haven't really gotten that so that should be good to go um, Skype has worked on the Thunderbolt CM7 even with the front camera so that's good and see we're having a problem with uh, the signal so hopefully I won't have to go back to 1.6 because so far it has been the most stable for me um, but I'm catching a little bit of 3G let's see if we can get our GPS to lock on. That's one thing that has definitely improved is that the GPS has locked on very very quickly for all applications including GPS including some uh, third-party apps uh, one of them that I use for running it logs on very quickly. I'm in, I am indoors so it's probably not going to do it and I'll have to test it tomorrow once I get outside but um, Good. But it's very fast. There's been a lot of improvements done, and I'm hoping that the stable release has fixed a lot of the issues which I've been having. Um, there we go. We got 3G signal finally. So let me go ahead and try to tether again to see that locks on fairly fast this time. And here's my The signal unfortunately keeps going in and out, so that's not a good thing as of right now. Nope, still say no internet access. So I'm definitely going to come back to the Sandogen team, but regardless, um, you know, thanks so much to them again for uh, keeping up with these updates, releasing it so fast. Um, so hopefully that will. Uh, clean that up as soon as possible, but other than that I'm very satisfied happy that it's finally out and uh, I'll be updating any of these problems that I've been having in my comments So look out for those and we'll see you next time